supports on the wall. And to do that, I need concrete or mortar drill bits. When using a bit, it's best to use a brand new one because the points are, are sharper. If you use an old bit, you're going to work really, really hard, and there's no sense in that. Now what I do is just place my bit on the mark and push firmly up against the bit and proceed. Now what I'm using here is a wall anchor. It's made out of pewter, soft metal. And I take this, place it inside, and then once I get my boards up, when I nail through this, it's actually expand in the back so you'll uh, secure this up there where, where your uh, piece that you're hanging up on the wall will not fall out. Now what I do is go ahead and pre-drill this. That way when I have the nail to go through here, it doesn't split the wood. The final step here will be placing the nail in the wood, finding the slot here. And then just nailing it right into the hole. The next step is placing the support against the wall, so you want to make sure that it's up there and anchored well to the wall. The last step is supporting it and hanging it. And there you are. Well, everything finished and it's looking great. Glad to have my own recording studio finally. Uh, you'll be seeing uh, me here a lot in this uh, atmosphere. And uh, I'll be working on my bench here to my right. And um, I'll eventually probably put a desk here and uh, I'll be showing you some things uh, while I'm sitting at my desk. Uh, this is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. <laughs>